Swadik up and welcome to Thailand News Today, an important week for the Kingdom. Actually, today is a public holiday, hence the reason we're doing this uh, slightly light version of the program. Won't have uh, quite as many bells and whistles as usual, but we hope it's still informative. Uh, we'll bring you all the latest details, of course, at thetiger.com. But let's check out today's news. Well, new COVID-19 cases in Thailand have dropped to 51. That's the lowest number we've had in nearly two or three weeks. Sadly, the new cases include 13 health workers. The numbers had trended steadily down until yesterday when it shot back over 100. Three additional deaths were also reported today. Total confirmed infections in the country now stand at 2,220. The cumulative death toll at 26. Well, it was only the second night of the curfew on Saturday night and police around the country arrested 308 people who violated the curfew. 18,893 officials, including police officers, along with officials from the Army, Ministry of Public Health and volunteers, are now on the lookout for curfew breakers. A total of 836 checkpoints are now placed across the kingdom. On the second night of the curfew, nearly 20,000 people were searched and over 14,000 vehicles stopped. Many of these people had valid reasons for leaving their homes during the curfew and included those working in logistics, medical personnel, those working night shift and others. A total of 308 people ended up arrested and are being prosecuted accordingly. Sad story now where two university students have died. A third was recovered after the trio jumped off one of the main bridges in Bangkok. Two of the women were pulled from the water, but one died at the scene. The rescue team spent two hours searching for the third woman, whose body was later retrieved from the river. The three were cousins who had studied and lived together in an apartment near the University of Thai Chamber of Commerce. Pattaya police have arrested three not-so-smart people, I don't think they're going to have a future in sales, who were arrested with 47 kilograms of marijuana that they'd been trying to sell on Facebook. They'd been selling around the Chonburi and Bangkok areas. The enterprising trio, all aged 20 and 21 years of age, had been brazenly selling their consumables through a Facebook page. To make it even easier for the police to track them down, the page was called Seri Marijuana. The police set up a sale through the Facebook page and when the time came for the deal, officers revealed their identity and arrested the suspects. Well, as I said, not the smartest trio of salespeople, making it very easy for the police to catch them. Well, the Deputy Prime Minister, Wisanu Kriyanam, has said over the weekend that even if the current curfew is successful, it could still be extended. He said the primary purpose of the curfew is to encourage social distancing and combat the spread of the COVID-19 coronavirus. Critics of the curfew say the limited six-hour period won't help stop the virus, but Wisanu said the large numbers of mostly young Thai people gathering at night for parties, as well as an upward tick in crime thanks to millions being out of work. Today's rumours of an impending 24-hour curfew were circulating, but officials were quick to quash the stories. In the meantime, provincial governors around the country have been put on alert to be in readiness for the next stage of curfews and preventative measures should they need to be rolled out. Well, that's all our latest news on Thailand News Today for today. Hopefully back tomorrow with a proper editor and a proper edition. In the meantime, you can catch up with all the latest news on thetiger.com. Plenty of interesting stories there in English and in Thai languages. We thank you for your time today. Stay safe, stay at home, make sure you wear a mask if you go outside, and we'll see you tomorrow.